This is amazing. What if you can fine tune your ChatGPT 3.5 16K model in a simple way? What if you can use that model which you have just fine tuned and use it in your application? Not only that, what if you can use that model to build a user interface like this and create your own chatbot? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about fine-tuning your chat GPT models. Not only that, you're going to create interface for the model you have created. I'm going to take you through step by step on what it is and how to do it. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. First, create your virtual environment using Conda. So it's Conda create hyphen and chat GPT Python equals 3.11. And then after that, you activate your virtual environment, Conda activate chat GPT and click enter. Next, pip install OpenAI Gradio to install those packages and click enter. After that, export your OpenAI API key like this and click enter. Now create a file and open that file. First, from OpenAI, import OpenAI. Next, we are importing time. Time is to check the status of the fine tuning process. Next, you're initializing the client. Now we need a file to fine tune. So what is fine tuning? It is ingesting the knowledge into ChatGPT's brain. So we need to inject some knowledge. In our case, we are ingesting knowledge like this. This is the format that ChatGPT accepts to fine tune the model. It contains a system role, user role and assistant role. As a system, you are saying content. Mervin presents a factual chatbot with sense of humor. Next, as a user, if it's asked a question, what's the tallest mountain in the world? The response from the assistant should be Mount Everest. It's so high, it's almost touching the sky. Just giving a personality, a style, a tone for your fine-tuned model. In this case, we are providing sense of humor. Similarly, here are a few more examples. Question is, what is the speed of light? It's about 299,000 kilometers per second. Faster than any of us on a Monday morning. Just adding that sense of humor. Similarly, I have added 10 different knowledge to be ingested into ChatGPT. This need to be in JSON-L format, which means each and every line is a JSON object. So now we're going to upload this file to ChatGPT, then fine tune it. To do that, create file for fine tuning, then client.file.create. Then I'm opening this file and the purpose is fine tune. Next, I'm printing out the file ID and the status. Now we need to create a fine tuning job. To do that, client.fine-tuning.jobs.create and enter the file name and the model name. This will automatically trigger the fine tuning job. And finally, we can print out the job ID and job status. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python fine tuning.py and click enter. Now you got the file ID, the file status, it got processed, job ID and job status. It's validating files. If we go to our chat GPT playground, we can see that job got triggered and it's fine tuning. But what if you want to check the status of the model and then finally get the model name? To do that, in our file, we're gonna do while true, then we're gonna check every 10 seconds the status of the job ID. By calling client fine tuning.jobs.retrieve function, if it's succeeded, then print the model name. If it fails, then break it or else keep checking. That's it. By doing this, you don't need to go to your ChatGPT playground to, to find all the information. This is an easy way to get your model name. In your terminal, python fine tuning.py, you got the file ID, file status, job ID, job status. Current job status is validating files. Now, here is the job ID and the current status is running. Even we can verify that in our OpenAI playground. This will keep on running till the job gets completed and it prints out the model name. Now the job status is succeeded, which means the process of fine tuning is complete and you got the model name here. Now we can use this model name to have a conversation or ask questions to the model, which we have just created. I'm going to copy this. You can even check the status in the playground. You got the model name here. Then you got the training loss graph. We've got the number of epochs and more details. We will be going through in detail about customizing this training in the future videos. But for now, we're going to use this model and integrate in our application. In a new file, from OpenAI import OpenAI, then initializing OpenAI, 
Then we initiate the function client.chat.completions.create. There you're providing your model name. I'm going to ask how far is the sun and print the response. Now I'm going to run this code, python my model.py. About 93 million miles, it's a bit of commute, adding a bit of sense of humor. Now we're going to import Gradio, import Gradio as GR. Next to create a chatbot, you're initiating the interface, gr.interface. Then you're providing the function name as a text box, as input and providing the output. And finally, chatbot.launch, that's it. I'm going to run this code in your terminal, python my model.py. Now it is running in this URL. I'm going to open this URL and here is our chatbot. So I'm going to ask who invented light bulb and click submit. About 93 million miles. Seems like I got an error in the code. If we go back to my code, the question is hard coded. So I'm going to change this and make it user underscore input. That's it. Now we're going to cancel the terminal and rerun the code. Now asking the question who invented light bulb and click submit. Thomas Edison. He was really bright. That's good. We added our style and tone to the chat GPT model by fine tuning. As simple as that. Now you are able to fine tune your model and also create interface and able to ask questions. I'm going to create more videos like this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.